Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a test of my various widescreen video recording options. So, to start with, what you're seeing now is a Logitech QuickCam Pro 9000 um, video camera connected via USB with a USB condenser microphone. Um, the resolution of this video is 640 by 360, and um, it's got autofocus on, which I'm going to test now. So, here is a um, test of the autofocus. Um, and I'm also going to test um, the frame rate, so here is some moving imagery. Um, and then next, uh, um, the same camera at a higher resolution. And now here is my Logitech QuickCam Pro 9000 camera again, um, this time at 800 by 450 pixels. Um, and so, once again, um, a test of the autofocus. Um, and an emotion test, so. Um, okay. Um, and this time I'm recording this using a Vivitar 565 camera, and I'm holding it using my hand, so the camera may shake a little. But anyway, um, here is um, a motion test. Um, this is back to the Logitech QuickCam C C Pro camera, uh, 640 by 360 with my USB microphone. Um, the Logitech webcam software hasn't had widescreen support until relatively recently, and um, now it's native, so you don't have to use a third-party cropping tool to post-process your video once it's been made. Um, it records at 640 by 360 and 800 by 450. Um, there's no 720 by 400 though, and that seems as though it's desirable because the higher resolution um, has some speed issues or there's bandwidth problems or something that reduces the frame rate. Um, and the low resolution is a bit low really, so somewhere in the middle would be nice, but doesn't seem to be available. Um, also, until recently I haven't been able to make um, widescreen videos with this, my Vivitar 565 um, camera, um, because um, the recording software that I use hasn't been able to read in their um, widescreen videos properly, but that issue seems to have been fixed by a software upgrade. Um, so, um, yeah, I can now record th th three different ways um, widescreen video, um, and this is a test of my recording facilities. So, um, enjoy.